Welcome to the training module titled Introduction to Mesoscale and Synaptic Sections. My name is Dan Bikus. The objective of this lesson is to understand the structure of the mesoscale slash convection and also the synaptic sections of this course. We'll also briefly introduce GOZAR specific capabilities that will be important for all of the topics discussed in this section, such as one minute imagery and an example showing one of the new bands. The mesoscale slash convection section of this course is structured in the following way. First, a series of short mini-modules will introduce each topic. The mini-modules will make use of Himawari or GOES SR SOR one-minute imagery as proxy data for GOES R. Each mini-module will discuss how GOES R aids in the identification, analysis, and tracking for each topic. The mini-module will include a brief interactive exercise to identify the features for the specific topic. After completing all the mini-modules, a West 2 simulation will be taken. The simulation encompasses all of the above mini-module topics, and it allows interaction with data in AWIPS. The list of mini-modules will add up to 120 minutes of training time. Two of the mini-modules indicated in this list will be 20 minutes in length, while the rest are 10 minutes. The modules include pre-convective environment, pre-convective cloud features, boundary-forced convection, mountain waves and orographic enhancement, fog and low cloud formation and dissipation, meso lows, and also a series on convective evolution, including cumulus, congestus, and growth, discrete storms, and also MCSs. The synoptic section will be structured similar to the mesoscale slash convective section. It will start out with three modules that pertain to cyclogenesis that will combine for 40 minutes in length. At the end of each module, there will be interactive exercises. This will be followed by additional modules, including other jet features, general circulation patterns, atmospheric rivers, and tropical to extratropical transition. Finally, a West 2 simulation will cover all of the above modules to reinforce understanding. Utilizing one-minute imagery on Gozar will be particularly important for the mesoscale and convective section. To help understand the importance of one-minute imagery, we compare current GOES capabilities with GOES-R in terms of temporal resolution and availability for display on AWIPS. In this animation, we see a thunderstorm develop over south-central Minnesota along a boundary. The animation depicts imagery at 15-minute interval, RSO interval, and one-minute interval. The top row of the table lists the image time. This is the time you would be able to first identify convective initiation for the storm of interest. As you may suspect, we get earlier lead time on identification of convective initiation. However, this is only part of the story. The other factor is when the imagery is displayed on your AWIPS. The latency in 15 minute mode is approximately 20 minutes, which improves substantially when you go on to RSO mode in approximately eight minutes. And with GOES-R, the expected latency of one minute imagery to display on your AWIPS will be around a minute and a half to a minute, depending on your office. Notice the drastic improvement in when you can discern convective initiation from the display on AWIPS row. This fact will be the real game changer for how you utilize satellite imagery for particular events. You'll be able to make use of satellite imagery in ways that you haven't been able to do in the past, for example, in the warning decision-making process. The time that you see the data on AWIPS will be comparable or even faster than radar and lightning data. As you gain experience with utilizing one-minute imagery on GOES-R, you'll learn optimal ways of working with this data and integrating it with other data sets such as radar and lightning. Keep in mind, this is a benefit in addition to the improved mesoscale analysis that will be made possible by having higher spatial and temporal imagery to view. One of the new bands on GOES-R will be at 7.3 microns. This band will not only show features you are accustomed to seeing with the current GOES water vapor band, but also lower level features as well, since the weighting function profile is lower in altitude. In this Himawari example over Bangladesh, this region of warmer brightness temperatures over northeast India, advecting eastwards, 
represents a combination of an elevated mix layer as well as diurnal heating of a relatively hot air mass west of a dry line. A thunderstorm develops along the dry line and intensifies rapidly. The feature that develops on the western flank of the storm of interest is a combination of gravity waves, outflow boundary, and compensating subsidence near a strong updraft region. Gozar brings a variety of new capabilities that will allow you to either see features with much more clarity compared to current GOES, or even see things for the first time. In summary, the mesoscale and synoptic sections of this course will consist of a series of mini-modules. All but four of the mini-modules from the synoptic section will include interactive exercises. There will be a West 2 simulation after each section to reinforce learning objectives. Finally, there will be a quiz at the end of the mesoscale and synoptic sections.